Hey everyone, I'm excited to share some of the latest news and updates about Procreate Dreams 2 with you today. I've been keeping an eye on what's happening and I am ready to share all the details. First up, let's talk about how things are progressing. The Procreate team has shared that they've split their focus between developing the new Dreams 2 features and working on the new storage model. As mentioned in my previous video, the storage update is pretty much the last last big hurdle before they can give us a timeline for the beta release. So let's hope for quick progress. They've also been testing out the new beta with iPadOS 26, which will bring some extra design and development challenges, though it doesn't sound like it will hold up the beta release. I'm assuming the beta will only be available for the current OS when it's released. On the technical side, the rendering team has been making some behind the scenes improvements to make drawing and painting feel smoother, kind of like the experience we're used to with Procreate itself, which is really great to hear. Now onto some fun collaborations, Procreate recently invited some popular artists and animators like Lisa Bardot and Alex Grigg to visit their headquarters and try out Procreate Dreams 2 firsthand. Alex shared some clips of his experience with the beta which was really cool to see. From their feedback the team realized that while the new flipbook mode is great for straight ahead animation, there were some key UI and UX tweaks needed to make key pose animation more practical. So during this collaboration, Alex was able to actually test a live prototype that addressed those issues. The clip shows some new UI features that make adjusting frame durations and moving frames around way easier. Definitely a step up from before. It's awesome to see how user feedback is shaping these tools and I can't wait to see how these features will continue to develop as we get closer to the beta launch. And the good news doesn't stop there. Thanks to the new engine behind Procreate Dreams 2, the flipbook mode now supports unlimited tracks, which will be huge for complex animations. The team also shared a fresh UI update for the timeline. Now you'll be able to tweak the duration of your movie directly on the timeline itself. No more jumping around to different menus. That will make editing a lot faster and more seamless. The team has also shared a sneak peek at the advanced export options like exporting transparent videos which will open up a lot of creative possibilities. And just a quick reminder, Procreate has set up an official page on their website where you can check out all the new features and sign up to stay updated on the beta release. I'll put the link in the description so you can stay in the loop. And that's all for now. I'll be sure to keep you posted as more news comes out. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next update.